All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be covering a business credit card that we have never covered on this channel before. And this card, you are able to get up to $50,000 worth of business funding, and it doesn't require any type of hard credit checks, meaning it doesn't affect your credit score at all. We're gonna be breaking down the pros of this card, what to pay attention to and how to apply. So if this is something that jives with you, consider hitting that subscribe button down below, join the official community, and it would mean a lot to our channel if you hit that like button down below as well. If you find this content helpful because it does reach, it does help this content reach a larger audience. Let's get right into it. So the card that we are going to be covering today is known as Capital on Tap. Now Capital on Tap for the most part has been around since right around 2012, but it was formerly known specifically over in the UK. Now they've since brought their product over here to the US and well, I think that this is a product worth taking a look at. So some features that we should pay attention to is that you can get anywhere between a thousand to $50,000 worth of business credits. Uh, it doesn't require any type of hard credit checks. Um, the only thing that you would want to pay attention to though is that they are going to be pulling from your experience and when i say pulling it's going to be a soft pull again this doesn't affect your credit score at all so you're not going to get a hard inquiry or anything like that when you go to check your credit the following month they're going to take a look at your experience now on their website i tried to look and they just wouldn't disclose it um, they don't disclose whether or not or what type of credit you should have so there's no actual scoring range but in my opinion if you're applying for something like this you do want to have a pretty good credit score this isn't something this is not something that i would apply for if i'm well into the low fives uh, something else that you also want to know is that you do need either an llc or an s corp so your business must be incorporated and you must have some type of financials and have been in business for at least six months now if you're looking to build your business credit the good thing about capital on tap is that it does report over to Experian business it does not report to dun and bradstreet at least at the time of the recording of this video but if you are looking to add trade lines business trade lines to your credit profile specifically with your business your llc or your s corp then this would be a card again you that you should consider at least taking a look at and apply for now something that i really like about this card when comparing it to other cards that maybe don't have any type of requirements in terms of a hard credit check is the type of repayment structure meaning how you're paying it off every month specifically with other cards you'll have more of a charge card method where you let's say you have a ten thousand dollar line of credit let's say you use up five thousand dollars for the month when you go to get your bill for the repayment the following month it's going to ask you for the entire balance again that can be weekly that can be monthly that can be semi monthly now with the capital on tap card the good thing about it is it only requires a 10 percent minimum payment so you can either do the 10 percent minimum payment you can structure maybe a payment above that 10 percent or you can go ahead and pay off your balance in full every single month and in my opinion this gives uh, users a bit more uh, flexibility when it comes to using this card altogether now when it comes to applying there are two different options that you can take a look at you have the regular rewards and then you have the founder rewards for the most part they're all the same with an exception of maybe a few things over on the regular rewards you'll have a one percent cashback versus the founder rewards you have a two percent cashback on anything that you spend with the card fifteen thousand dollars spent in the first three months for the most part the limits in terms of ranges are all the same so it's anywhere between a thousand to up to a fifty thousand dollar trade line and then there's no atm charges which in my opinion is also a big upside with this card so think of it like this if you let's say wanted to get some type of of cash advance and you wanted to go to a local atm you can go ahead and pull some funds out from this card now i believe the limit is only 400 dollars uh, but even then not having to pay some of those ridiculous fees that you'll get from having to do let's say a cash advance or maybe if you wanted to uh, get some capital right capital on top kind of like the name if you wanted to get quicker access to some capital and actually have it tangible in terms of cash where you can just go out and use it it does have that limit but the good side again is that it doesn't require any type of fees to it now two last things to know is that you can have up to 20 cards so if you have maybe some employees and you wanted to give them access to some of these cards you can create up to 20 cards and this way you can keep track on the back end of what's being spent where and then when it comes to the type of fee that you'll pay 
for applying for either the founders card or the regular rewards uh, it's going to be free for the regular and then for the founders it's going to be a zero dollar annual fee at least that's the promotion that they're running now again at the time of this recording uh, that could change so just keep that in mind depending on when you're watching this for the most part with the application portion of this it only takes about two minutes at the absolute most and you can expect to hear back between two to three business days on the card um, I've been seeing that a lot of people have been receiving their cards once approved right around seven to ten business days uh, once they've been approved so keep that in mind as well uh, for the most part it's pretty self-explanatory what they're looking at your business legal name your trade name your EIN remember what we mentioned earlier you do need to have an actual registered business um, and you you'll see even here where it doesn't allow me to click on the sole proprietorship that's because you either need the LLC or you need some type of S Corp set up uh, this is your business landline. This is monthly revenue sales. Uh, for the most part, these are things that you're going to be able to uh, kind of figure out as you do the application. Again, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. One thing, another thing that you want to know about this card is that there is a PG attached to it. So meaning you are liable if anything happens uh, with this card or with the debt on it. I think that that's something that could be a make or break for some people, especially if you're looking for maybe a non PG card. But again, considering the benefits that you get from capital on tap, it could be something worth at least uh, swinging, especially if you're looking to add more trade lines to your business name. Again, this is going to be your account information right here. When you log, when you create your login, all that you're going to uh, pretty much check all of these boxes and then you're going to hit submit and that's it so overall i think that capital on tap is a good option for anyone uh, that's looking to continue to build their business credit especially if maybe you're a startup and you're just getting started or maybe you can get access to 10 15 even twenty thousand dollars or possibly even the full 50 again this was something that i would at least consider if i'm looking to add some more trade lines to my business name and to my business entity if this is something you found value in then consider hitting the subscribe button down below join the official community don't forget that anytime we're not posting on here we're posting over on the inside with earth show which is our podcast style channel so if you like what we have going on over here you'll love what we have going on over there once again i appreciate you guys checking us out until next time everyone i will see you in the next video